Hi friends, um, today I have a Timu haul for you and um, it's been a couple of uh, packages together so I'm going to split this video in two so it won't be too long like the, my other one was. Uh, it was like 40 minutes. I'm going to split this in two so it'll be like 20 some minutes uh, for each part and I'll put part one, part two and I'll tag them to each other so you guys can find it um so welcome and let me show you what i got this time these are vinyls that i got from there um let me put these aside so i can show you one by one what i've got all right these are the same so this vinyl is 548 and the the it's 12 by 55 inches uh long all of them are the same size so this is pretty good for the price is amazing for how uh, big of a roll this is and the quality is very very good it's a uh, beautiful color turquoise i hope it's coming through the um video and a very rich very rich color very beautiful i um, use a lot of vinyl in my uh, bag making um so this is a good find and i got two of those so that's that this one is a little bit more expensive, $7.98, still good because anything that I find here locally, it's um, $9.99 and up, up to $15 roll. So this is what the size is usually, like 11.8, which is 12 inches by 55 inches. And this one is gorgeous too it's very very the texture is great i hope you can see it and it's like a multicolored one it's very pretty the back is black and with these you can uh, if you're making journals you can use this for journals for bows for anything i'll show you a couple of um couple of things that i use them for let me show you these so I've been making these um, square makeup, uh, makeup or travel bags uh, from from vinyl, and I do them usually with one, just one layer. I don't do a lining for those, so you can make those. Uh, this is a smaller. I usually do like a set of these for uh, like a traveling set for men for women I have for women a little bit more uh, cutesy ones this one great for men I have in different colors um, for women I have could be your makeup bag could be um, just put your traveling stuff in there makeup hair supplies or anything this is I love this color and this is butterfly vinyl also so sometimes you need a lot of vinyl sometimes it's small just bottom piece and this is a small one goes as a set with this one and you can just I went recently to Armenia that's where I'm from uh, this uh, past summer in 2023 and I took all my makeup in this um, and it was great it was so fit everything in that also I wanted to show you this is a bag that I made and so sometimes you need a lot more vinyl for um, for a bag or for something that you're making so i need big rolls i need tall rolls so i can do if i need to do a piece of the bag 
I don't have to do it in pieces. I mean, over here you cut this piece separate and this piece separate and this piece is separate. So you can combine different colors, but it's good to have a very, um, as wide as it could be. Sometimes it's 12, sometimes it's 18. Um, I haven't found 18, but 12 is a really good, good roll. So I can use for that. This one has a wallet, and uh, so you need a smaller piece for a wallet than you need for a bag, because bag here and here, all of the vinyl that you need. And then also, I have a smaller bags that I make, which needs only this piece. So this is cotton, and this is cotton, so I need only you know, this piece of uh, vinyl. So it's not always I need big, you know, big rolls and stuff, but I try to uh, make everything that I can make with the big bags and whatever I have left over, sometimes I use for the smaller bags. And, uh, and then, you know, the sanitizer holders, I can use the small, tiniest scraps of those. Because this is only front and the back is different that waterproof fabric that I put inside of my bags. So I need only one little piece for this. Like this, this big. And for this even, this gets covered by cotton fabric also. So you need just this little piece to do your sanitizer holder. And that's where I use my scraps so it doesn't go to waste. Uh, when I do that, so I'm going to show you the rest of those. So this one is 548 also. It's the same seller from the, the butterfly one. And this is beautiful. I like this. It's blue and gold. It's very pretty, very pretty, very thick. This is the white uh, on the back, and it's like pretty thick. It's very good quality, very good quality. It's, you know, it's very, very good. So, and this is the other color of same 548 from the same seller. And it's like coral and... Uh, turquoise gorgeous gorgeous colors and it has a little um, beads inside of it like pearls on the picture if you can see it is very very pretty so they don't have any any smell so this one was from different seller. It looks like this one, but it was from different seller. It was six ninety eight. Similar because the colors of them. See how it's like two toned. This one looks like I don't know, like metal almost. It's so gorgeous. It has this copper, rose gold, and silver all mixed together. It's very pretty. Very nice textured. Also, this one has black in the back. And this ones are a little bit thinner than the one, uh, than this ones that have a white back. So, these are a little bit thinner, but still good and great quality. I like these. This one came from a different seller also. This one is for 48. This one is really, really thin. I love the design. The design is very pretty, very pretty, but this is very thin. It's almost the one, um, looks like the one is from Hobby Lobby, the one, the thinner ones that they have over there. This is still like a good deal for that amount of it, but this one for purse, uh, I would have to put a lot of interfacing and 
um, for for purse this is not gonna do maybe wallet or um, something else I can do with that but um, not for a purse but these will be great for bows for journals this would be great so that's that then I have this one $5.98 and this is a different seller also this is pretty nice it's textured very very pretty red I hope it comes through this is the backing same size 12 by 55 inches very good deal I needed some red I made a lot of sanitizer holders and used a lot of red so I was low on red that's for that and this one kind of caught my eye and I couldn't figure out I couldn't see on the picture if it's transparent or not so I just ordered that one so this one is actually 12 by 53 inches and it was 649 but it's not transparent like the butterfly one because it's see-through and I thought it was but it's not and you can actually has a white backing but it's still it's so beautiful it has uh let me put it over here it has like a turquoise and a pink stripes and then it has this little iridescence to it it's very very pretty very good quality also so i love all those vinyls are um great deal if you guys need them I, i'm gonna put the links uh, below in the description like i did on my um, other timo haul i'm gonna everything that is uh still available i'm gonna put uh, in the description below and last time i um put it on top whatever was not uh, linked it's or out of stock or it was discontinued so okay the next thing is pretty much like for bag making it doesn't have to be necessarily for bag making if you have a purse or um, something that you need a strap for they sell already made straps so you can buy this for your uh, for your bag that you already have if you're a bag maker these are a good deal um, it's already pre-made like i made my um bags and they and these uh i make those water bottle holders and i make my own straps so you need two of those um hooks and then you need a buckle and uh, i make them to match my um my bags or my water bottles but if you have a design that matches your design you can just buy them pre-made and it's um less work for you if you uh behind on something and you don't have time to make them there's ones that are already made so this one has a black one so i have silver hardware on mine and gold so i usually match what matches to the fabric so this is gold i didn't want to do like a silver you know silver hardware and silver zippers so for this one everything is silver so i use silver hardware and this is the um stra uh, strap that i made so it's good to have some on hand pre-made if you need it just in case so this one was dollar 64 and it's very pretty guys it's like this pink leopard looking one let me put these aside so you can see that it's light light pink it has gold uh hardware and these are one and a half inch uh, thick the ones i make it's one inch but one and a half it's great too and the hardware is very very good quality hardware it's not like flimsy and thin and it's very very well made 
so i would buy different colors they had multiple colors of this so i just order one from each seller to kind of see the quality of it um and i'll show you some of them you'll see the quality um of you know different ones so this one is gorgeous these two came from same seller they're just two different colors and they were 248 also quality is amazing very thick also the um hardware is good good quality and it's like doubled so you can open as much as you need put it on your bag if you have you know a tote that you want to take it somewhere or a duffel bag and needs this so and this is perfect for my um bag making so this one is gorgeous and good quality i am very very happy with this purchase this one is like a cream and pink color and white very pretty same hardware also gold and very pretty you can put it on any of your bags this one was 247 and it's also one and a half inch thick this one is just um black also the hardware is thick and good look look at the size of this hardware it's good good quality it's very good quality guys and this is just a black so you can just get your blacks and your pinks your you know all the colors that you make something or you need something you can just get them in silver or gold not all the um suppliers have both but you can find it on there so this one was 224 and this one has a gold um hardware on it and you can see the the difference in quality see the size of the buckle how thin this one is and how thick this one is and i don't know this like this is more cheaper feel i don't know not cheaper but i don't know the feel of this is not as great as this let's say that way this one is better quality and they were this one was 220 um 47 this more ex expensive one was but better quality and this one was 224 which not far from it and a little bit less of a quality but still good i, I mean i still would use these for my they can withhold um this one probably would not withhold like a duffel bag or anything uh but like a water bottle holder or any terses See, I usually do like one inch. And my buckles are small, but they're thicker. So this would be good for any of the smaller bags, any, any small projects. But this big one is very good for duffel bag or anything bigger than you need totes and stuff. So there's difference in quality. So you can just look around. I'm probably gonna go and order some more and have variety of colors for when i need it but i am very very pleased with those let me get these out of here so also i saw some in one inch and it's just um, the actual webbing so I wanted to see the quality of those also. So this was uh, five yards and it's 359. 
and let's see i haven't opened this yet oh i hope i'm done okay so this is pretty good quality this is pretty strong it is sturdy it's it's a good price for five yards whatever i buy on amazon it's more expensive than that but in a pinch i can you know order it and it comes in a day or two so i um wanted to see any other options on you know see what timu has to offer this one was three yards dollar 79 this one's similar i mean it, there's not much of a difference an inch and this was a good price also for three inches so three three yards so i just wanted to see what each of the um each of the sellers have in uh, the pricing and all that and these are buckles the rainbow buckles i uh, use the rainbow hardware too i love it 10 pieces was 254 which i think is a great price for those and it's just buckles you can use for anything just any of the bag making or if you're making some kind of closure and you need that so this is pretty pretty good price i'm happy with this also and then i just got this doily it was 70 cent, 79 cents just regular white doily uh, i probably gonna cut this up and use them for like embellishments for junk journals and stuff like that see I'm, I'm, I'm getting my stash together guys slowly and um, so this is gonna be for sorry it's gonna get cut up but it's beautiful and also I bought those the trim to go on embellishments also the stream was $1.98. I have a pink and a purple. And um, this was one yard. And I think this is pretty good for one yard. $1.98. This is very pretty. Very pretty. It's light pink and it's like has different you know kind of gradation of pink from darker to light it's very very pretty and the purple is same same design it has darker purple and lighter purple in it and i can cut these in like that by three and um, add them for you know for any on top of the lace and bows and all kinds of stuff so i'm excited about that so getting to my junk journaling stash and talking about junk journaling last time i got one of these in different design so i got this again for the same price actually i picked up last time which has been like three or four weeks since that video this one is 30 pieces same price oh also i wanted to tell you guys um so if you purchase it and it's shipped, you can get a price adjustment. You can go to your uh, order that already shipped and every day for 30 days, you can check the price. And if price is less than what you paid for, they're going to give you that credit back to your account. So you can use, sometimes it's like one cent, sometimes it's 28 cents, sometimes it's a... 58 cents but they all add up and it goes to your credit and when you purchase more that goes uh, towards your purchase so this one already i think one time i already did a price adjustment since it came so this is very pretty it says have a good day uh, for junk journaling retro, retro vintage materials 30 pieces roses i love the cover cover too they're very pretty you can use them and make a little little journal and cover 
cover this with some bow or something else and you know and use this and cover here so let me show you guys what we get they um there are two of each and they have those burn edges i love this this is gorgeous well maybe not two maybe three 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 of each three of each this is like a bluish uh color vintage pretty roses and birds and it's one-sided so that's that this is the next one very pretty very pretty i love those like coffee spots almost like a coffee dyed spots i love that it's already in your paper you don't even have to do anything this is gorgeous i love this This is the next one. These are beautiful. These are beautiful. There are smaller ones. You can just cut one piece or two pieces. So this is next. There you go. And you can actually, you know, cut just this little bird or this separate or use them um, together. I like using, and this is very thin. You can use it on your mixed media, like a rice paper almost. I'll show you one of my items here that I used a little rice paper, but I think I can use this for that also. Like I used a little rose over here. And this is a box that I upcycled. And did some clay around it. And the little feet. But that's what I like to do with my clay and, and uh, paper. This is paper and I um, I love it. I love it. So if you have things like that, I mean, you can put it on that. You can cut a little piece and use it. This is the next paper. Oops. Yep, that's that. And this is the, see how pretty it would be? Just do that on some other box or something else. I do uh, bottles or also. Now let me show you the bottle that I have here. That I used also rice paper. Let me put this aside. I used the rice paper here, which I could use one of these. And how beautiful this would be on uh, on anything, really. There is another one that I used here. Did clay around it, and it's gorgeous decor for your home for your wine bar or anything like that these are gorgeous so um these i'm gonna um use for that too so i'll see some for journal journaling some for my uh mixed media projects that i have i do i really excited about that we put this away so we don't break it okay so, oh, and the other thing uh, with with these papers, like I create, of course, uh, handmade cards and I want to do some vintage, vintage ones. This one is also, this is a napkin, actually. Let me take it out of this and I'll show you. This is actually a napkin that I uh, put Mod Podge on it and uh, cut it out and made a... Um, card this one is just paper uh, printed paper actually um, so I did that and another um, thing I use these for like I made this like almost like a coupon book <laughs> I 
I was following uh, a lady's um, channel and she created these books. This one has a belly band so you can do all kinds of things. So this is like a receipt, could be a receipt book that you put your receipts and you can, like I left stuff, you know, paper here so you can name what you're putting in there. Like if you're putting uh, receipts from like your craft stores, you put the store name over there and put all your receipts there. Um, if you, you know, shopping for clothing and then you put your receipts here, you can name that and, and so forth. So each of those, you can add some other stuff and just write it down. So, um, I'm going to try to find this video. If you guys interested, I'm going to, uh, put it in the description and I can use the papers for that. This is cute and this is just a hairband you can put headband on that and see that would be so pretty on that see so that's another thing so next thing i have a little small little box this box was 69 cents and for very small i mean it's small but sometimes you need for very small things, uh, for safety pins or for even, I was thinking this for the diamond um, painting, diamond dots that come with the diamond painting. I was thinking to leftovers to put it in here um, and just save them because there's always, I, uh, I, I assume leftovers. I just started one. I'll uh, show you guys next time um, how far I came doing that and this is for that hopefully it will work for my diamond um dots next thing i have these little bows it was mixed color 50 of them and dollar 48 and these are so cute guys different colors for any of the project that you need these would be good on cards so this one I made it myself, but it's much bigger than that. See, sometimes you need a tiny, tiny one. These I uh, pre-make and uh, they're in my box here. So you can, you know, make them yourself and just keep them for when you need it. I sometimes when I put it on a card on like a bottles and stuff like that, I pre-made them all and keep them in this box. All this ribbon is from Dollar Tree, guys. Dollar Tree or oh, um, uh, Walmart. So, see the the thinner one. You can create a smaller bows. Um, and there is a tutorial for making bows. It's not my tutorial. I follow Gina K Designs for that. She does this bow, um, and I follow her. You can create your own, but it's not going to be as tiny as this one thicker thicker ribbon you have it's going to be a bigger bow and so thinner ones are going to make you a smaller bows so and i probably won't be able to make this tiny so that's why i got those to put them on cards and i'm happy with this this is a good price for that two dollar 48 it's a good price for that and then I have a few more things, guys. I got another ring. It was 87 cents. Um, you see, I'm still wearing this one that says Faith Over Fear. It's very comfortable. It started to change color, but I love this. I Since I got this, I haven't taken it off. I've been sleeping in it. I'm cooking in it. I'm, this is not coming off of me. <laughs> And it's okay that it changed color. I have a, a little um, tutorial I want to do um, to show you what you can do if it turns color. And hopefully that works. And when I do it, I'll show you the video. This one has size 8. And has little tiny rhinestones around it. It's 
it goes on it's not really comfortable it, i don't know it's kind of sticks out it's not flat it's cute very cute but it's not comfortable i won't be able to you know sleep in it or cook in it or do anything like that so that is that it was 87 cents pretty cute and after that i got these two tapes this is a red tape uh it was 58 cents and it's six feet i like red tape i use a lot of it so i think this is a good deal for 58 cents better than dollar tree guys this one was 67 uh, cents and it was also six, six feet and this is this thicker it's almost like a mount tape what they say it is nothing it's a thicker tape apparently dollar tree had them i never seen in my area a lot of people say that dollar tree has this um clear tape but i never seen in my dollar tree so i just wanted to pick up 67 cents that's pretty good um pretty good for that so that is it for no i have one more thing oh this is funny you guys remember from my um other timu haul that i got this pin and i told you guys i'm gonna remove the pin part and glue um magnet to it so i can glue it to, not glue it but put it on my machine and it's metal so it'll stick like a decoration on my sewing machine so this is a magnet from dollar tree so i ordered these to go on this and it was 100 of them for dollar 49 i was so excited and and look what i got <laughs> this is what i got guys this is 100 uh, i'm pretty sure it's 100 because they're so tiny i can't even separate them from each other they're so tiny they're so tiny uh, i hope you can see it on my hand how tiny they are and this is all 100 of them all together and that's what i want <laughs> that's what i wanted the, to use them on okay this is well, yeah this is not gonna be good so they're good they're they're good magnets but they're very tiny hopefully i can use this for like if i'm doing a junk journal or something if i can glue it to the page so the page closes with that hopefully that is big enough to go on that if not i might come up with something to use this for but other than that this was no go but i did my magnet so now it can go on my sewing machine i'm excited about that this is cute cute decoration for your machine so that is it guys um next time you'll see me on my next video it's gonna be part two of my timo haul and um Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like my video. Uh, if you're interested in any of my handmade items, you can click in the description below. I will list them all in, I'll have links for all of them. Please like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out uh, on any future videos from me. Um, God bless you guys. Stay safe and I will see you in part two of Timo Hall. Bye guys.